Hello and welcome to this stock analysis update for Shell. Please remember that I do these videos just for fun as I vlog my investment journey and always speak to a financial advisor before making any investment decisions. So a couple of weeks ago I did a video on Shell and I determined that much of their earnings were related to the price of oil and gas. It may seem obvious, but it's not so much the case with some of the better oil stocks. For example, Total Energies, who make a big proportion of their money from natural gas power stations and perfectly located in Europe, and from the refining of the oil that they produce. But in the case of Shell, the way that their strategies played out, they've got a lot of excess liqui liquefied natural gas and a lot of excess crude oil that they don't refine themselves, but which they just sell to the highest bidder. And this is what makes Shell particularly sensitive to the price of gas and oil. I also looked at the sector data, and the first thing I highlighted was that we are now, we've had obviously a really good run. And I've done very well for my oil investments if I was to sell now. But I said that we were at the beginning of the end game phase for this, for investing in oil and gas. And also, I can highlight here that if you look at the five year time frame, we're in this channel. There's a clear trading channel here. Now, I've actually had some extraordinary luck with Shell uh, because I've recently been in the process of moving some of my stock from my main account over to my share ISA by pure luck on Monday I sold my shell and I was actually waiting for the money to clear before then buying on my share ISA when we had this spectacular crash the last few days which was obviously related to this Credit Suisse debacle so this is extreme fortune for me and I've got to decide whether to buy back now or just decide that this was an excellent exit point and be happy that I managed to avoid that drop. It's about an 8% drop. So the first thing I'm considering is where is my portfolio in terms of risk on? And my current risk target is about 30%, whereas my portfolio, were I to buy back that shell, is about 34% risk. But generally, I'm still very defensive. And so, it's not like I've got to be hurriedly moving out of stocks because I'm overexposed to sh because I'm overexposed to stocks given the current environment. That's not really the case for me. And then when we look at the price of oil, we want it to be in this new normal levels of 2021 to stay invested in Shell, and we are still very much in that zone. However, I can't ignore that. We've had a bit of a technical breakdown here, and it is worrying the direction of the oil price. In terms of natural gas prices, we're now starting to get to lower levels than we got in the new normal we hoped for of 2021. And so this is concerning, but it's still a little bit uncertain if we're going to rebound from here or if this trend will continue. So I then go back to the sector chart. And it's very interesting that where prices have stabilized now, we're still at the lower end of this channel. This channel has not been broken. For me, this is the final data point that helped me make my decision. So I've decided that I'm going to buy back half my position. So I've reduced the amount of oil exposure I have a bit, but without completely shitting the bed. I'm considering that I'm in a fighting retreat here. And so I'm going to keep the stop loss where it was. And so if the price goes down only another 8%, then I'll offload that. And it would have been compensated for by this good fortune I have of selling on the Monday and then, and then gaining this. Uh, so I'll definitely be keeping to this stop loss. If I see the oil sector drop below this, the lower end of this channel, then I'll be getting out. And finally, if the price of oil continues to drop or the price of gas, that will also be another reason for selling my now reduced position of shell that I have. The best thing is that having sold half my shell, my risk profile for my overall portfolio 
is now reduced to only about 28 percent so i'm now a bit below my target so i think that's a good place to be given the current general situation so this completes my stock analysis update for shell i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you have a good weekend please read the disclaimer and remember that prices can go down as well as up